I am Anil Kumar and here we have very simple equations with radicals and we will see how to simplify them. First question is x square root 2 equals to 10 then we have x over square root 3 equals to 15 c is square root 20 over x equals to square root 5 and d is 3 square 3x three equals to square root of 18. So we have placed x in different positions one is like something as a product then as a quotient and here x is in the denominator right so these are three four variations for similar kinds of equation let us understand how to solve them now to find x from a which is x square root 2 equals to square root of 10 we need to divide both sides by square root 2 then what do you get you get x equals to square root of 10 divided by square root of 2. This is as good as dividing 10 by 2 within square root. Think like this. Do you understand? And what you get is square root of 5 and that becomes your answer. So that is how it can be done. B. x over square root 3 equals to square root 15. This is kind of a ratio which you should solve by cross multiplication. So x equals to square root of 15 times square root of 3, right? Now that gives us square root of 3 times 15, which is 45. So I can write 45 here. But another thing which normally helps us to solve this further is using factors rather than product. 15 can be written as 5 times 3, we already have a 3 here, so we get something like this in the radical. Do you see that? Well, I could have written 45 also and then got the answer, but this is a preferred method. I feel when you work with square roots, it's better to write it as factors than products. So product is 45, I'm not writing that. I'm saying 3 times 15 is like 5 times 3 times 3. Now, 3 times 3 can be factored out, so we get 3 square root 5 as our answer, right? So that's an easy and better way of doing when we are dealing with factors. Otherwise, the option would have been, uh, well, this is a simple question, so square root of 45, multiplying 15 by 3, then 45 is 9 times 5, and we know square root of 9 is 3, we get 3 square root 5, the same answer. <coughs> But it's all up to you. I prefer this method. Let's do the next one. C is square root of 20 over x equals to square root 5. Whenever it is kind of a ratio, cross multiply. So we have square root of 20 divided by square root of 5 will give us x, right? So just interchange their position. So 20 divided by 5 is 4. So we can write this in square root of 4 directly, right? I don't even have to write like 10 divided by 2. It's kind of obvious. Once you do this, these questions a couple of times, you will get a feel of it, right? Now, square root of 4 is 2, so we get x equals to 2 as our answer, right? So that is how you can do it. Next one is 3x equals to square root of 18. So x is equals to square root of 18 divided by 3. Now, at this stage, you have two options. I'll show you method using both the options, right? So one I will solve here, the other one I'll continue. Okay, let's continue with one method. That is, we can simplify what 18 is. 18 is 9 times 2, right? Over 3. And 9 is, square root of 9 is 3. So we can write this as 3 square root 2 over 3, which simplifies 2 square root of 2. That's one way of doing it. The other way is, we can take 3 within square root. That is to say, we could write this as square root of 18 divided by, when you take 3 inside the square root, it becomes 9. Do you see that? 3 square is 9. So when you take it in, it becomes 9. And we could write this as square root of 2. So that's an alternate way of doing it. Right? My idea of this video is to simply show you options and there will be situations when this method may be a preferred method over the traditional method, right? So you could always use such alternate methods which can help you solve 
especially the numbers when we have very very big numbers working with us and that too without calculator right so it helps I hope you benefit from it thank you and all the best